Hello and welcome to Seeking Alpha Interviews. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. And with me today, Ben Axler of Spruce Point Capital. Welcome. Thank you for and, having me. And um, you're a short seller, so that's very interesting. So let's start with just the overall philosophy. How does the research you do, the activism, pertain to your short selling style? Sure, so we practice something called research activism. It's a slightly differentiated approach. We're looking to do deep forensic research analysis, summarize a variant point of view about a company, share our research publicly with the market and with Seeking Alpha, and try to change investors' perceptions mm -hmm. with variant or new information. So it's sure. slightly differentiated. I mean, it's a really important function for the market um, to know, like somebody who's gone into a company, dug into their books or whatever, and figured out some things that maybe, I don't know, aren't what the public, what they appears to be, what it appears right. to be. Well, so we think part of what's what's grown this category of research activism is that a lot of the research coming from the sell side is is buy or neutral or market perform, and there's been a dearth of sell recommendations, and the current analysts mm -hmm. are spread a little bit thin and not really deep on the knowledge. We can go in and do a real deep dive, look at the accounting, look at management's background, mm -hmm. look at the incentive structure, what drives the numbers, and then come up with a, a fair value recommendation. Okay, so um, we've been in a pretty bullish uh, since the election, how, how has that kind of changed your strategy? I mean, even though you may know a company, maybe the value isn't there, but yet we've got this whole bullish macro atmosphere. How does that change? Sure, so our philosophy is, you know, we like to short and think we can make money in any market up okay. sideways or neutral. Um, a bullish market we think helps the case because what happens in a bullish market is we find investors get a little complacent mm -hmm. sometimes. Um, we find that easy money policies from the central bank invite in less mature, weaker business models to come public. Um, so the valuations get stretched and that gives us an opportunity to short at higher levels and, and really use our activism and our event driven approach to make alpha in any market up, up down or sideways. Um, what is the reaction you get from companies when they know that you're looking into them? So it's interesting, the reaction, if we're doing our research correctly, the reaction we get from management is usually silence hmm. or a blanket dismissal saying we are wrong, we're biased, we're short sellers, and that our arguments are incorrect. Now there's two problems with that. Number one is, um, Management is also biased. They have an incentive to portray their financials strongly, to promote their stock. So their incentive is for the stock going up. Ours incentive is for the stock going down. So it's sort of a, a wash there. And then if we're wrong, you know, we would like management to come and refute some of our, our conclusions. And we rarely find that. So um, that's the issue. So what are the top two or three shorts that you're recommending right now? Sure. So our, our top uh, short right now is MGP Ingredients. They're a commodity producer promoting uh, their uh, whiskey business. The whiskey market is in a slight boom right now. They bought a distillery on the cheap from Seagram's a number of years ago. Um, we think they're having trouble selling. Uh, they sell mostly to craft producers. There's now a thousand craft distilleries in the market. Their biggest customer is Diageo, which we think will ultimately displace them. Management's now trying to spend money to store the whiskey in hopes that they can sell it at three times the value in the future. Okay. We think if they can't sell it, they'll have some problems. Okay, any others? Our other favorite right now is Eco Global Logistics. It's a highly promoted roll up of third party logistics providers. It's an asset light business. Management has a history of value destruction. Their technology is being displaced by the Uber for trucking movement. Um, insiders are rapidly selling. Um, the stock is at a 52 week low, but they're now starting to lose money. The company is highly levered at three times debt to EBITDA, burning cash flow. We think this is a potential zero. Okay. And uh, is there any others you have, or are those two the main ones you're looking at right we now? We have a number of others. They're on our website, sprucepointcap.com. Okay. okay. Um, Ultimate Software is one we, we recently went activist on. It's a HR SaaS provider of uh, human resource solutions. We see some governance issues there. Um, we think that's a commoditized market that's really drawing in lower price solutions and management selling and the stocks at an all time high. We think that's another problematic company. What's your perfect short? Perfect short is non-consensus. We try okay. to find companies that have a low short interest where we can create a variant view. Um, we try to find, again, history uh, management or the history of value destruction. Uh, we try to find companies with weak fundamentals and try to find the weakest player in that industry. But more importantly, you know, our forensic research really focuses on the accounting. Mm -hmm. We're trying to find evidence of accounting manipulations or using aggressive assumptions so that management can, you know, bolster the financials and unload stock at unreasonable prices. That's sort of our perfect short, non-consensus, troubled fundamentals, insider selling, overvaluation, differentiated point of view. Okay, and then finally, how has social media 
changed, helped, hurt what a short seller does? I mean, social media has been invaluable to us. Okay. It's given the independent you know, investment analysts an opportunity to have a voice uh, through non-traditional media. Mm -hmm. um, we've really tried to get um, our outlet and our research out through the Seeking Alpha platform and through Twitter. Um, we're getting instantaneous feedback from the market in terms of our research. We're reaching a more diverse crowd than we typically could. Mm -hmm. We're being held accountable too. People are tracking our research recommendations. And you know, if our research wasn't good, I wouldn't you know, be sitting here having this conversation with you. So it's allowing the independent guy to have a bigger voice and a faster and broader market impact. Okay, thank you, Ben. I, I know it's controversial sometimes, but I think short sellers do provide an important function thank you to the much. market and the free market. So thank you so much for joining us Absolutely. and sharing this story. So Ben Axler of Spruce Point Capital, and thank you as well for joining us on Seeking Alpha Interviews. Have a great day.